my channel i'm leaving you guys and i know already welcome back to another video so by the time you write down below we're gonna be doing we'll be doing a couple things we're gonna be singing we're gonna be probably laughing talking doing makeup um it's valentine's day well i'm not filming this on valentine's day but i'm gonna put it out on valentine's day for all the lovers so happy valentine's day you guys if you're watching this on valentine's day um i thank you guys for the support i love y'all if you don't feel like you love just know i love you it's like what about to be 10 o'clock at night. I went to work and I worked out and I came here to film. So I love y'all for real. So excuse the squeaky chair. It's what we got right now. We're gonna sign up. We're gonna um not sign our petition. We're gonna get a GoFundMe to get me a new chair. So before we get into this, do not forget to like, do not forget to comment, do not forget to subscribe. Okay, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Make sure you comment. What should y'all comment? Comment a pink heart if you made it to this far of the video. <laughs> and or comment what was your valentine's day plan what is see let me know what were you guys valentine's day plans um let me start moving it because this video will be 15 hours long if i don't start so first in regular get ready with me fashion my brows are already done it just takes forever for me to do my brows on camera so i just kind of knock it out before i cut the camera on just to save me some time and not waste you guys' time so as you guys know if you've been watching the vlogs or just been keeping up I am, ew, who's texting me? Anyways, I am a single girl. So, yeah, so for Valentine's Day this year, um, I'm going to throw, like, a little Galentine for me and my daughter. And I think my uh, younger sister is going to come. But originally, um, it's going to be for me and my baby because I have her the week of Valentine's Day. So, it's going to be us, and I'm going to throw us a little Galentine party. I, I wasn't invited to a Galentine's. Nobody I knew was throwing a Galentine's. So, and I've never actually been to one. So, I'm going to throw my own. Okay, period. Um, yeah, so that is my Valentine's Day plans this year, and I'm super excited about that because I just can't wait to just, you know, eat cupcakes with my boo. We're gonna do makeup, play with stuff, and just have a good girls' night. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to remember to say all of the products, but I honestly don't be thinking y'all care. Hopefully, you guys got you something to eat, get your wine. I was gonna drink wine with y'all, but like I said, I just came back from the gym, so this is my dinner. We drinking a detox tea because mm, is my mug so cute though? I got it from Marshalls, but mm, we drinking a detox tea tonight because yesterday was Super Bowl. I had all the pizza and freaking Taco Cabana margaritas, <laughs> and yeah, that just was not good for me and the little journey that I'm on. So I actually was watching one of my old videos and I have done an R&B playlist before on my channel it was a long time ago I was still staying with my mom and my dad and when I watched the video I just remember how much fun I had recording that video and I said I'm gonna do that again because like back then like the Brent summer like they wasn't really out yet SZA like it wasn't I mean of course they probably was singing and working you know but they were not who they were today like they were not just on our playlist like that well at least for me so I'm like oh baby I'm gonna do that again and just a side note let me just say this real quick so all my creatives all of my whatever you do that's creative if you have a passion for something if you like to do something if something brings you joy it may not bring you all the money but it really brings you joy I really think y'all should go and look at your old work like go back in time and go look at like your old work because I got so inspired watching my old videos because I just remember that girl like I remember where I was in my life I remember how I felt like I just remember that girl like they used to film behind that white sh uh in front of that white shower curtain and it's just so inspiring to see my growth i remember like how i felt that day i remember what i went through that day and i remember like damn like you know i'm gonna record a video tonight fuck it like i need something to cheer me up and like i love music and i just remember like that video doing well for me at that time and yeah it just brought me so much joy and it just inspired me like my old self inspired me and I feel like anybody that's creative where where there is something you pick up and put down you're super consistent you're not go look at your old work and get re-inspired like sometimes looking at what everybody else is doing can be so distracting but when you like look at yourself and look at your old work and see how you've grown or not grown both can be an inspiration so sorry like I said still on topic but thank you for coming to my TED talk before my creatives go look at your old shit um and 
keep popping your shit. So we're gonna start this playlist though because I am about to do eyeshadow and I suck at eyeshadow and talking. I honestly did not curate a playlist, like premeditated playlist, like I did in my old video. Like I tried to, but it just did not work. Like I'm just too busy <laughs> during the day to just sit and think about something like that. But I knew I wanted to film this video. So I'm just gonna go with the vibes and what's in my mind. And let's start with, um, it's a song that's in my mind, but I don't want to start with that song. But since Usher was, you know, did his thing at the Super Bowl yesterday, oh my God, I have something to tell y'all about that too. But like I said, it's off topic. Usher did his thing, besides when Usher did his thing at the Super Bowl yesterday, and it was just so beautiful and nostalgic to see. And just, Usher was my first love. Like, the first concert I ever been to was Usher concert, and he just, uh, he just did his thing. So, we're going to start with the Usher song. Comment down below. I would love to hear you guys' definitions. So I was taught growing up that love is basically like it's an action. Like when you love something or someone, whether it's romantic, platonic, um, an item, whatever, it's a choice. Like you choose to love. Like I know they say like you can't help who you love or whatever, but you loving them or you know showing your love is a choice so i say that love is an action that's what my parents taught me about love that it's in action it's a choice you get this well and then like i guess this is valentine's day we could talk about romantic love you get up every day and you choose to love your partner like you don't have to love them you don't have to move in ways out of love for them a person that you're not related to have not probably known well you know depending on the situation have not probably known your whole life but you are choosing to move in ways and do things to make them feel comfortable safe happy and those are all action things though like you don't just sit back and just love you actively love every day so that's what i say love is for me and that goes with loving yourself like you say no to certain things that do not cater to loving yourself you say yes to things that cater to loving yourself you might work out you might whatever loving yourself looks like i don't even want to go down the line of that because i think it looks different for everyone but whatever your scope of loving yourself or loving someone else it's all in action you know what i'm saying so that is what I see love as. So I feel like when sometimes, even though people are disappointing and no one is perfect, sometimes when betrayal happens, it really do make me question like, do you love me for real? Because like, I love you and like, I wouldn't do that because I love you. Now, like I said, I think that's a, a sticky place though to put yourself because just because you may operate one way does not mean that your significant other or your friend may operate or look at things the same way that you might look at them. But all in all, I was always taught that love is an action. So I would love to know you guys' thoughts on what you think love is. So when I was just like thinking of certain topics centering love, um, I guess I could talk to you guys about like me dating. 
So right now I am not dating. I'm not dating anyone. <laughs> I'm not going on dates. I ain't having no sex. <sighs> Just play it. But I'm not doing any of that. And it's all by choice. Like I'm sure ladies we can relate. Like when sometimes when you're single or when you're not engaging in sexual activity or you're just not talking to anyone, it so more than likely be like by choice. I'm just honestly not ready. And I realized I wasn't ready because I did start dating someone. Um I did I dated this one person. We went on like two dates, three dates, two dates. I think it was two dates. Um, and he was cool. He was cool. Like, it wasn't really nothing wrong with him, for real. Like, he didn't have, like, a... I didn't get to know him, I feel like, long enough to really know, like, what his red flags were. Um, but I, did, I didn't continue to get to know him by choice. Because I just... I just wasn't ready. Like, I just... Mm -mm. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. I don't know. And I and I feel like I rushed into dating him. Um, and I just didn't want to waste his time. Like, I had to tell dude straight up, like, you know, I had to tell him straight up. But, yeah, I just, I don't believe in wasting people's time. I don't believe in wasting niggas' money. <laughs> I'm not a stick around and get all I can get type of girl because it shows on my face. When you annoying the fuck out of me or when I don't like you, I can't hide it. Like, I just literally can't. I wish I was better at it, but it's, I can only do it for so long. Like, I just... And I just knew that he was not someone I would want to move forward with and be in something romantic, especially because now I could be wrong because, you know, niggas be lying and niggas put on friends. But I feel like he was really starting to like me for real. And that kind of scared me because I knew that I was not ready to probably, you know, whether because, you know, niggas don't be wanting to be in a relationship. So he never told me he wanted a relationship. But it, oh shit, <laughs> even to... I don't know how to describe it. I don't really know how to describe it, but to even stick around to figure out, like, is he bullshitting me? Do he just want to fuck? Like, I just didn't care enough to want to continue. And I'm not, even though I'm by myself and I have my moments, I'm not, like, super lonely. So, I don't, like, I'm so happy I've grown from the girl I used to be, like, throughout breakups and stuff. Baby, I would crave a nigga attention. I would sit in niggas' faces that I did not like. That was not for me at all. That was like, I wouldn't even want to honestly be caught in public with you for real. Like, I've, I've been there. I ain't, I ain't ashamed to say it. Like, I wouldn't even want to really be caught in public with you for real. But I'm here because, you know, you make me feel pretty. You know what I'm saying? I know that you're attracted to me. And, you know, we have a cool little time when we chilling. But I'm not that girl no more. I'm not fiending for, to sit in no nigga face. I don't, I could care less. Like, there's, I'm a busy girl. Like, I'm a very busy girl and I'm a mom now. So, it's just always something I could be doing. Like, yeah, it's my kid free night, right? I could be laid up. I could be, but I'm choosing to film because I just want to prioritize my dreams and my work and just what I have going on. I'm just not in the mood and like just ew don't touch me like <laughs> that I feel like that's why like I haven't really had sex because I'm just not I don't know I just want to continue to work on my body like I just really want to feel myself for real and I don't I'm that type of girl like like I'm a when I have sex <laughs> hey hey let's just get personal like when I have sex like it's a performance like I'm a dancer at heart like so I just feel like it's a it's showtime and if I <laughs> And if I'm not feeling it, it's, I feel like the sex that niggas will probably get from me be horrible. And even when I've done things and I know I didn't really want to do it, they be coming back and I just be like, what did you see in that? Because I was not feeling it at all. But that just be me. So that's kind of where I am with the dating thing. Like, I'm just not... I don't know. I'm just not in the mood. Maybe I just haven't met anyone that just give me butterflies in my coochie like I just haven't met somebody like that and I'm okay with that like I'm okay with waiting and you know waiting my turn and oh I forgot to a step it's okay I'm gonna still do it 
I forgot the cream contour, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna just put it over the powder. I ain't going nowhere. So it's crazy. It is what it is. I'm okay with like waiting for my turn to feel those feelings again. And I, I honestly, I'm in a very like hopeful place though. I can honestly say that. Like, I'm not in a place of like, oh, is it ever gonna happen for me again? Like, am I ever gonna feel those butterflies and get that love that I feel like I once had? Like. I don't think that it's like a never gonna happen for me thing. I'm not on no fuck niggas. All niggas is the same. I'm not that girl because I don't want to put that energy out there because I really want to be somebody's wife. Like, let's not get it fucked up. Like, I really want love and I feel like I have a lot of love to give. And I just want to, I want to give it. I don't want to just save it all for me and Mari. Like, let's just be, let's just keep it 100. I don't want to save it all for just me and my kid. You know? But in the meantime, in between times, I am gonna pour into the love I have for myself. I am gonna pour into the love that I have for my child because when when the love, you know, from a significant other is activated, I know that I put in the work to really get to know myself and love myself. And I think that's why I am so comfortable with where I am right now because I do see me loving myself and I'm so proud of it. Like, I'm so proud of me saying no. I'm so proud of me like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this with you. I have no desire to do this with you. Get out. <laughs> um, no, I'm not coming. Yeah, I probably said we, you could see me earlier today, but tonight I changed my mind. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> and I'm just really focused on just making my dreams come true and like i said i have a like you know a new like kind of field in my job and it be taking a lot on my mental sometimes with my job and i'm okay with that because it's, it's growing me as a you know person and it's building my resume i love who i'm becoming i love the things that i'm learning like i really feel like i'm building up like my wife like my wifey role like you know what i'm saying and it be it be fucking me up sometimes because i'm like damn like i just wish i could share this with somebody like i wish that like this new recipe that i just body like i wish my man could taste it and be like damn girl <laughs> like, i really wish i really want that but i feel like you know it's gonna come it's gonna come i just really i feel like i'm a very lovable person i'm i have a good personality blah blah blah, blah all the things but it's just time for me to really develop those things about myself. So, you know, when God bring me my husband, it's going to be lit. And I'm going to be lit for him. Um, yeah. I am really just growing as a woman. And I just love that for me. Like, I love that for me so bad. I'm just so happy for my nigga. Like, I just... Like, babe, you gonna be a, you. You gonna have you something good. Like, that's just mm, that's how I feel. And I feel like that's just where God has me. And I trust God in this season. It's not easy though. Like sometimes, some days it's easy, but some days it's not. I have had days where I've cried. I've had days, and it's not even over like my past relationship. It's just like, damn, like I'm really alone. Like my first place, I had people staying with me all the time. This place, like y'all hear that? It's just me. So it gives that silence and that space for me to feel those feels. But I need to. I feel like this is the most single I've ever been in my life. I've never been this single. Like, I ain't got nothing rolling through here. Like, I ain't never been this single. But it's needed. I feel like, and I hear people say all the time, like, every woman needs to have that single year or that really or that single era where they stay by themselves and things like that and at, at 28 I just turned 28 in January I have finally hit that mark and I'm grateful for this because like I said when my nigga come he gonna be late so yeah Let me calm down before I get copywritten. But back to our conversation. But what I can say as this video comes to an end, because <laughs> I'm about to do my lips. Um, and something that I'm so grateful for, and so and something I'm so grateful for and so appreciative of. And this is a time in my life that I probably will, well, not probably, I know I will never forget. I know that even though I might not have 
a romantic love in my life you know I'm not in love in that way I do have a lot of love in my life so like my sister my best friends like the way that they love me and my family my daughter like the way that they love me and they know what I need when I need it I couldn't be more fulfilled you know what I'm saying like I can express myself to them uh, they know when I'm in my like heartbreak mode like they know when I'm not feeling it they know when my mind is on things that went wrong or things that did not happen the way I thought that they would happen like they know when my mind is on it and they love me through it you know what I'm saying like they text me randomly and remind me how beautiful I am they tell me that they love me all the time and that they're proud of me and you know to keep going and blah blah blah, blah. and I need that like my love language oh let's talk about love language love languages too my love language is well one of them is words of affirmation hold on let me line my lips I don't know where my lip liner is so I'm lining it with um some powder hold on so my love languages let me tell y'all that part first my love languages is acts of service like please make my life easier because that's my thing I love to come in somebody's life and make it easier make my life easier acts of service words of affirmation I need you to talk that shit to me <laughs> and um physical touch I want to feel your body on mine okay all the time all day so those are my top three quality time I will say used to be one but that's back when I ain't had really nothing to do now baby I love you and I see you when I see you when I see you we're gonna be vibing <laughs> but I like I said I'm a busy girl I have a lot on my mind I got a lot going on so quality time used to be one of them but I understand that we're both young and getting it so I don't mind it being space between us I know you love me. I love you. Let's get this money. You know? So, yeah. Um, those are my three. Acts of service, words of affirmation, and physical touch. Because when I see you, I need you to fill my book. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And they love me in my love language. And I feel like the way I'm loving myself, not necessarily the physical touch part, but the acts of service and the words of affirmation. Like, I try to talk myself up, you know, a lot. Like, when I don't feel like going to the gym, when I am feeling discouraged, like, I really do have to, like, talk myself up. My friends, I will text them randomly, like, can you tell me something good? And they'll do it. They'll send me a paragraph. It'd be long, short. But it's just, it's what I need, you know? Comment down below, where are you guys' love language? I think I talked about love languages on my channel before, and I wish I knew what video it was when I talked about that. Because I would have love to know what younger Leah thought. But I know grown ass Leah, <laughs> that is my love language, baby. Come in here and make my life easier. Fill on me. <laughs> And talk to me. Talk me up. Tell me I'm doing a good job. Tell me tell me you're proud of me. Tell me that you love me. Tell me um the baddest puta. <laughs> like I need to hear it all. Do y'all listen to Queen Naja? I feel like y'all should if y'all don't. Y'all sleep on her. And her new album is really, really good. And it speaks to my soul. So this song is called Self Love. And it is so good. Like, I think she sampled Tamia officially loving you. And I literally love it. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. And also, follow me on Instagram. I know when I talked to her, I said I was, like, kind of scared of Instagram. But I've been trying to show up a little more. So, follow me on Instagram. It's Leah underscore Patrice. Um, but, yeah, girl. So, so yeah, that's the end of this video. I have so many more R&B songs that's on my playlist. But, like I said, I didn't really curate one. So, I couldn't think of all of them. Because I did more talking in this video versus my last video when it was just kind of, like, straight music. But. Yes, you guys, I love you so, so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, comment. If you didn't comment, like the other stuff I asked you to comment, comment a mic and a pink card. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget that you're beautiful, you're loved, you're strong. God loves you, God is love. And long as you have him within you, you good. Okay, so yeah, let's just continue to have a good rest of 2024. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all so, so much once again. And yeah, bye you guys.